I've got a space marine that needs casting. Hey guys, last time you may have seen me creating a Warhammer 40k space marine using ZBrush. This was a fan art tribute rather than an exact replica, but I hope you'll agree it looks the part. I'd already printed both large and small figures, but of course, me being me, I really wanted to do a cast of a space marine in solid bronze. To achieve that, I had to head back to ZBrush and start the process of repositioning the figure, giving him a more interesting stance. I started off with the base that I'd blatantly stolen from one of the Archvillain game's excellent miniatures. It was then just a matter of moving bits around. Now, if you think this is boring to watch, it was even more boring to do. There's probably better ways of doing this, but this was my inexperienced approach. It wasn't difficult, but it was time consuming. I was so bored that I completely neglected to record the construction of a simplified bolt gun. Don't look for all the bells and whistles here, because, like I said, it's simplified. I know it's a two-handed weapon, as the actress said to the bishop, but I didn't fancy covering up all the wonderful details on the chest. So it's not the most action-packed stance, but I quite like it. To make printing easier, I broke the figure into four parts. Normally at this point, it's just a matter of printing these using the mystery castable resin in my Elegoo Mars 2 Pro. But if you didn't already know, it's no longer a mystery resin. I'd revealed it a couple of days ago when it came on sale as being called Cast by Sariatech, the company behind the famous Blue Resin. It's on sale in the US at the moment at a cost of just $75 for roughly a litre which compared to many castable resins, makes it a bargain. You've seen me using it a number of times now, and I think you'll agree with me, it does a very nice job. As is typical of this resin, it printed well. There's certainly plenty of detail here. I used sticky wax to initially position everything, and then melted a little more wax into the joins to make everything watertight. Huh? It's worth pointing out at this point that the plaster I was using for this project had gone off. Setting within just 7 minutes, where 10 minutes working time would be more normal, so I wasn't optimistic.
Well, the cameraman is useless, but the casting looks better than I'd hoped. There's an obvious large flaw beneath his feet, but everything else is hidden by plaster, and there's dozens of tiny recesses for the plaster to get stuck in. So I turn to my ultrasonic cleaner. The blue liquid is just ordinary water with a spot of laundry detergent and an added spoon of citric acid. An hour later, and more flaws were revealed, so we'll have to think of him as a battle-hardened champ. I could leave things there, but it's a little plain for me. So I decided to paint some lever of sulphur into the areas where I wanted contrast and shadow. Definitely battle-hardened now, but again, I was tempted to leave it. Fine steel wool helps get rid of the bulk of things, and scratch remover and polish do the rest. Well, I'm pleased with him. The cracked plaster has caused a few defects, and these stand proud thanks to the liver of sulphur. But the detail is excellent. When I was designing this miniature in ZBrush, I wondered how much of the detail would shine through and I've been pleasantly surprised. From the clip release on the bolt gun to the grooves in the exhaust vents. It's incredible how much detail can be captured using Soriotech cast resin, an ordinary home grade printer like the Elegoo Mars 2 Pro and a little practice at casting. All in all, I like him. The Emperor would be proud. So that's it for this video guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Take care and thanks for watching.